Straw Hut Media. Welcome to Ask Me Anything, a beacon of spiritual exploration hosted by celebrated mediums Kelly White and James Van Praat. From the mysteries of astrological aspects to the depths of personal growth, no topic is off limits. Your questions light the path as we navigate the intricacies of our spiritual existence together. So, are you ready to delve deeper? I'm going to do the astrology and I'm going to go to ask me anything and all of that, but I wanted to I wanted to give you some news. I wanted to give you an update on my life cuz I it's a big one, so I thought I would start with this because there's been a lot going on at the farm here and um I wanted you guys to know um, I had a really amazing experience this week. And on Tuesday, after 19 years of being with Don, we decided to get married. And so Don and I officially got married on uh, June 13th, after 19 years. And you might think, aren't they already married? My grandson, August, said, aren't, aren't they already married? I mean, it got him really confused. <laughs> and one would think, because we've been together for so long, and it's been the, the most incredible 19 years of my life. And we decided at the last minute, literally, we decided to get married. And it was um, just a beautiful service uh, ceremony we did on our farm. Uh, it was going to be at sunset, but then there was no sunset because it rained. But it didn't matter. We were still out there, and it was beautiful and just full of love. And you know, we love each other so much, and it was just a really great a wonderful special day for us, really special day, and I couldn't be happier. So I just wanted everybody to know that um, I am officially now Kelly Marquis, but I'm still going to use Kelly White as my professional name. So I wanted everybody to know what was going on in my life. So <laughs> that's what has gone on. And for me, it was a big one. It was a really, it was a, it was, it was a big one. So Anyway, so let's get to the astrology too, okay? Um, so I've got a lot of astrology. Well, I've got some astrology, and then I'm going to go into all your questions because you guys have asked so many great questions today. So we have, and I've been talking about this for, for some time, but in a couple of days, Saturn, the planet of karma, the planet of work and health goes retrograde. And you can already feel the energy. It's starting to feel a little more intense, a little like things are more out of control. Karmic things come in. And so karmic things don't have to be negative. In my case, <laughs> I got married. It, it was not a negative. So it doesn't have to be a negative. It can be, it, it means like responsibility to your soul during this period of time for the next four or five months. And it lasts actually till November 4th. And this, it brings responsibility to ourselves, to others. It's an extraordinary time to go deep within and to do personal healing on yourself. So if you are planning on, um, you know, working on your health, whether that's physical health, whether that's mental health, this is the time to do it. If you are thinking that so many people ask me about jobs and careers right now, this is a great time to be really um, honest with yourself and go look for the work that satisfies your soul because this is a period of time like that. Saturn's known as the planet of truth. And when it goes retrograde, it helps us, you know, face our lives. You know, sometimes we run away from different things, but Saturn has a way of making us look at our actions. And if for instance, you have had a job that you just really don't resonate with anymore. It would probably be pulling at you to make a change right now. If your health has been subpar, you know, doing whatever it is that, you, that you've been doing, really look at your health and take action on it. This is the time to do it for the next several months. It's a really important time um, with this Saturn retrograde. Again, Saturn brings in a lot of karma. And it could be, it, it, you know, good, bad, and different. It doesn't really matter. It just brings us that into focus for us. So it's a really important cycle right now, actually, to reevaluate your life. You know, maybe modify it or 
um, look at your commitments in life. It's, it's a perfect time to do that. It's also time to get very grounded because Saturn retrograde, Saturn is the first chakra, the root chakra. So it will pull you to get grounded. And, you know, once we do things where we feel like our soul is, you know, dealing with things, it's funny how that works. When you really start, instead of avoiding, you start dealing with your, your shit. It gets you very grounded. It gets you very grounded. So this is a great time for that, okay? So I just wanted to go there with that, with everybody, okay? So the first question I do want to answer, and this is from Bernadette Desir. And she says, hi, Kelly. And I know your birthday is, uh, it looks like February 9th, but it says 290. So I don't I'm not sure what that is, but um, please help me understand why I can see spirits in flesh like real people. Is that a gift I come down here with? Uh, why can't some people not see them? So when I started off, Bernadette, when I started off with, uh, again, I had a head injury that led me down this path. By the way, during a Saturn retrograde, I might just put that out there. Um, <laughs> talk about, you know, karmic coming back to, to get me. Um, but I was seeing people i was seeing spirits but i was seeing them with my physical eyes as if i actually would have to go god is that person real or is that person you know physically present or is that a spirit i mean that's there was no veil and i could see things ah oh, scarily close um fortunately that changes so sometimes when you start to uh open up your gifts that can happen that can happen. I remember Mavis Patilla talking about it. You know, she was ironing once and she looked up and there was a man standing in her living room as she was ironing. You know, she said, I almost had a heart attack because it, it is quite alarming when this happens. But that's often how it begins. And then what happens is it goes to your third eye. Your third eye, you start to go inward. You start meditating. You start, um, you know, raising your vibration. And you really take this very seriously. You take it deeply and seriously. So then your eyes start to fade away with it and it comes into your uh, third eye. And that's the way, um, that's the best way to do it. Because if you were to continue down that road, it makes you a little, it can make you a little psychotic. I mean, you know, you start seeing things and it's kind of uh, uncomfortable at best. Um, I want to talk about, I, I received um, this, which I just loved. I received this um, question from Mary Nitz. And Mary Nitz, uh, turns out Mary Nitz is somebody that has known me longer than anybody on earth. After my parents, my parents are both past, but Mary Ann has known me forever. And out of the blue today, she said, Kelly, she sent me um, a question. And she said, Kelly, what a coincidence about the timing of your show. Tomorrow is my sister's birth date, her sister, beloved sister Kathleen, who absolutely is your soulmate. And she says, pink's her favorite color. And she's been gone from the earth 16 years. And I miss her every day. Well, Marianne, when I saw that, I could immediately feel Kathleen around you, immediately feel that. And I just felt also your mom and dad around her too. I felt like the whole family was around her uh, with you and just sending you lots of love. And I got a tremendous amount of flowers from that when I had that vision. And let me get a card for you from Talking to Heaven, which by the way, I love these cards, Talking to Heaven. Because I think they're just so great. And um, I just know that she's always around you. She's always there, always there with, with you. Always there. Okay. So let me see. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay. So this is the card I pulled. I am with the rest of the family. How funny is that? So she is with the rest of your family. I get mom and dad. And you'll all be together when it's your time to go. But just know she's around you. And she loves you so much, Marianne, as I love you so much. And I think she's so blessed to have you as a sister. Okay. And look for flowers. I don't know why I'm getting tulips. Look at tulips. Look at flowers, tulips. And look at it, all kinds of flowers here. Okay. And that's this is from your sister Kathleen and your mom and dad. And your dad's giving me a wink here. Okay. So I just want to give that to you. Um, so there you go. And I love you, Marianne. Um, Joseph Payton. Hi, Kelly. Enjoy listening to you. And James, does my wife who passed in November of last year have a message? I mean, absolutely. And you are 11-3. So 
So you are 11-3 is a four of diamonds. Funny. It's funny, Joseph. I have worked with so many four of diamonds today. It's been one of those days. So let's get a card for your beloved wife, okay? She says, tears cleanse the soul, honey. So please know that all of your emotions um, need to come out. And she's right there with you when you are um, letting your emotions out with this. It's a huge one when you've lost a spouse. It's huge. Okay, so please know she's always around you too. All right. She's talking about your anniversary. So there must be an anniversary coming up here. Okay, and she loves you very much. I wanted to say that. And I had another question here. I have a lot of questions. And this is from Angel and Aguilar. And Angel, you sent me this last week, but I didn't get a chance to, to, um, to get to this because I, I had a guest on, I had Kathy on last week. And she says, thank you for your continued dedication to educating. She said, I have a, a request on your next show. Can you talk about how to recognize the various elements that start to emerge in a child? So what age? How do we help them keep their connection to spirit? She said, I have two young granddaughters that I don't see very often, but they visit me when they remember they come to visit me. And she said, um, I don't have much contact with them, but my daughter's very superstitious and thinks my spirituality is dangerous. So maybe a children's book. I usually give them books as gifts. So definitely, um, here's the thing that I would do, Angel. And this is, I have wonderful grandchildren and I always have talked to them about angels, always. And then I also talk to them and give them books on crystals. And there are some amazing books out there on crystals. And I've also taught them how to meditate. So even though your times with them is not, it's few and far between. They remember that. They re they will remember that. So teach them meditation when you're next time you're with them. Teach them to sit in silence. Teach them to you know they'd love to do that that you know special seat and put their hands up like this. Uh, they will not forget it. And then what happens is you can also say to them, you know, what was heaven like? What do you think heaven is like? You know, and I've gotten all kinds of answers from my grandchildren about that. So they're they're it's a perfect time to open that up. And I understand if there's a child, your daughter is um, less than enthusiastic about that, but um, I would still do it anyway. <laughs> I would, <laughs> because I think it's important. Okay. Lisa Dolazan. She says, hi, Kelly. My son died in July of 2012 and I'm raising his two teenager daughters or two teenagers now. Wow. Do you know, Lisa, that's the second story I heard today about something like this. So, wow, that's amazing to me. Um, and your date of birth is 716, which is a queen of clubs. So, so let me just say, if anybody's going to be doing this work, it would be you. Queen of clubs comes to mother and then mother and mother and mother. Um, so that makes a lot of sense, Lisa, with this. And it would have been an agreed upon situation um on the other side so let me get you a card from your son okay and i absolutely know he's grateful for you absolutely know he's grateful for you okay i've got chills as i say that okay here we go oh this is another one how, how weird is this and this is going to go to another question but tears cleanse the soul now again this would be tears on his end and tears on your end both and I would say that there's a lot of emotions that probably have to come out here with this because I did shuffle these. So it is odd how I got this a second time. So I think it's really important to deal with the emotions. I do. And having said that, one somebody asked me and I want to read. So it's perfect timing for this, this is from Karen Bennett. <laughs> Karen, I got your question. She said, uh, here's a question. I use James's talking to heaven cards and often I get the same cards over and over. <laughs> but she said, but, and often, typically, if you do, it's because the person needs that same message. But here, in this case, she says, but they don't resonate with me, especially with my late husband. And the card she was receiving is, it's not your fault. You have nothing to feel guilty about. She said, I have no res residual issues with his passing, illness, or part of our lives. I, this doesn't even remotely appear. So why do the same cards appear? You know what? My thought on that, Karen, was, you know, James's uh, cards come with a book. And I'm going to assume that you read the book. There's a there's a little booklet here with each card that represents and tells the story of each card. And maybe there's a message in that. That's the only thing I could think of for that. Okay, so possibly that's it. And I will revisit this with James okay, on Monday because I, I 
would like to have an answer for that too, because that does happen. Um, so sometimes that happens. Here we go. Um, Dini McAllister. Hi, Kelly. You look beautiful as usual. Oh, you're so sweet, Dean. Thank you. Any message from a deceased dad at age 99? Wow. Well, I'd say that's that's a long time. <laughs> you couldn't make it to 100? What's the matter? <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, 1120 is a king of hearts. Wow, king of hearts. It's a king of hearts and... Um, that's you, Dean, is the King of Hearts. I'm assuming that's your birthday. King of Hearts is the male comes in to be a father figure. And when a female comes in with the King of Hearts, there's a tremendous amount of love. And it's always about the children and family. So I, it's not a surprise that um, you want a message from your dad. He says, I always give you a good night kiss. I always give you a good night kiss. So he is around there. Okay. He's around here. Okay. Um, oh, I'm so sorry, Christian R. She said, Kat Kelly, we lost our beloved cat unexpectedly last night. She was a family member. Can you have a card? Absolutely. Oh, that's a hard one, isn't it? That's such a hard one. Gosh, I'm so sorry. And last night, this Saturn period, which is, we're really in this Saturn period now, uh, there will be loss. There will be because um, it's like it, um, it, it's an ending time. So that kind of makes sense there. Here we go. Let me get you a card from here. I am so much better now. So here's when we talk about the rainbow bridge. Your cat is over the rainbow bridge. And here's poof. Here you go. And animals do go there. They go to that rainbow bridge. And while I'm pulling a card, I'm going to get a card. Oops, not that one. Oops. I'm going to get another card for Vicky. Vicky, if you're listening for your beloved husband. Hilarious. I am standing right next to you. <laughs> here you go. There's your husband, Mike, standing right next to you. Okay, so just know that he is always around you. Okay, so Mary Jo Beta, could I have a reading January 28th? Yes, January 28th is a Queen of Clubs, and Queen of Clubs is somebody that is uh, very bright, very bright, um, and in their head a lot. So, Queen of Clubs, very psychic, very intuitive. If you think something, you'll be correct. Now, the thing you have to watch is being a little neurotic because you might have it, not read the room. Like the room might be saying, all right, all right, I hear you. I get it. I get it. But you're going to have a, a way about um, really wanting to get the message out because you're extremely psychic. I would say make sure you hone in and um, meditation calms the mind. Meditation calms the mind. That, that's actually what I would say for you which is a, probably the best message here. And you're very psychic. So I would be taking all kinds of psychic classes to hone that energy in. That's what I would be doing. Okay. Um, here's, here's a question from Karen KT. She says, hi, Kelly, I love your work. Do you see me going back to work soon? And you're a jack of diamonds. Your birthday is June 6. So here's the thing. We're in the Saturn return right now. And your birthday happens to fall right in that energy period of it even though it starts in a couple of days or starts in a day, but still the energy would have already been set. So Jack of Diamonds is somebody that can work and work and work, and they have a long life. Uh, it's all about reinventing yourself and redoing this. So I'm going to say, yeah, I definitely see you going back to work. <laughs> definitely see you going back to work here. This is from Linda Rainey, and I want to answer this question. Her birthday is November 13th, and November 13th is a seven of clubs. Seven of Clubs is about overcoming negativity. So here's her question. She said, I've had a couple of past life dreams and I died in a horrific way. So what she's saying is in her dreams, she, she's considering these as past life dreams and she's died in some pretty bad ways. She said, do we only have dream memories of bad deaths? No. But why don't I get a dream memory of a peaceful passing. There was no pain, but it was very scary after I woke up and I couldn't let it go. I understand, Linda. So here's what I might suggest to you is find somebody that does past life regression. I mean, somebody really good who does past life regression um, to help you maybe release some of that. When I talked about a seven of clubs with negativity and sometimes they kind of hold on to things. I'm one, I mean, to me, those are process dreams that you're processing. Now, 
are they past life or is it part of your life now where you are processing something? I don't know. That's something I have to figure out. But if it is indeed a past life, then I would consider a past life regression with somebody who's really great and they, they do this as a profession, you know, like really good. And I, unfortunately, I don't know that person, but um, I don't know anybody who really does that. I mean, there's some people that do hypnosis, but and this is very specific, I think. Okay, so I hope that helps you. I do. Okay, hi, Terry Camoli. Hi, Kelly. My husband, 64, had a stroke at the beginning of the month and is now in rehab. May I please have a card? And your birthday is 415. So 415 is also a, is a six of diamonds. So let's get you a card. Let me, first of all, let me just say, I'm sorry about your husband. Often when there's a stroke, it is about slowing down. It's about taking the spiritual road. It's about um, going inward. And it uh, for the two people to connect in a way that maybe they had not connected before. You know, so there are a lot of reasons for for this. But let me get you a card. And you're a six of diamonds, which six of diamonds is all about balance. Financial balance is what we call it, but balance in general. Balance in general, fairness is really important here. And I've heard of a lot of um, stroke stories lately, Terry, a lot. So it tells me that the, it's the way the soul is going to learn things, maybe to slow down, maybe to slow down. But this is from James's cards, which I love, The Soul's Journey. These are great cards, The Soul's Journey. So let's get a message here for you. Okay, here we go. I know. Earth is a, is a tough school, isn't it? Honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Maybe be real honest with your emotions, how you're feeling. Let your husband talk about how he's feeling with it. It's a lot. It's, it's an awful lot, I would say. Okay. Um, hi, Elizabeth Preston. How are you? I'm doing really well, honey. Is it hazy up your way? I, yes, it is. It is. It is hazy here. That is the truth. Um, oh, thank you, everybody, for the congratulations. Holy cow is right, right? Hey. <laughs> yep, even I was stunned. <laughs> so um, Kathy Zunia, I'm not going to say it right, Zunia. Hi, Kelly. My best friend just lost her son. Can I get a card for her? Absolutely. Let's get you a card, honey. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for your best friend. That is, uh, I've got chills. That's, I you know, tell her, that, tell your best friend that your son, her son is actually trying to reach her. It's, it's literally around her constantly, constantly, constantly. Okay, constantly. Boy, and he's a talker, this one. Um, let me get a card for her. Now, see, again, this that, and I know I shuffled that just now. Tell her that he always gives her a good night kiss. He's always there with her, okay? Which... I'm going to ask James about this. Maybe it's my shuffling ability. It sucks. I don't know. Um, I can't really tell. Okay, Marianne Gadino, Morley. She said, I'm, you are, birthday is 1013. I'm turning 80 this year. Yay, will I be traveling? I've had major surgery, spine and knee, and I'm still healing. Wow, that's amazing. My stepmother is also turning 80 this year, and we are going to have a big party for her in uh, Michigan. So excited about that. It's my little brother Theo's uh, mother. So I'm really excited about that. 80 is, what do they say? The new 60 right now. So 10, 13. So your birthday is October 13th. And that's a nine of clubs. Oh my God. Nine of clubs has to have adventures. <laughs> they come. <laughs> that's so funny. Nine of clubs is the adventure king. Yes, you'll be traveling. You will definitely be traveling because it's in your soul to do that. And just get the healing that you need, okay? Just get the healing that you need. Yes, you definitely will. Um, let's see. Yes, that's the one I just answered. Yeah, I love that question. That is so great. Hi, Prue Smith. Good morning from Perth. Hi there. Um, okay, Tina Rogina. She says, hello, Kelly. Will you please give me a reading on if my son will reconcile with me? I miss him so much, and he's my whole life. So I want to talk about that because I also had another question like that um today let me see if i can find it. oh it's a, it's from tina it's the same one i'm glad i okay okay so i do want to talk about that 
this has happened a lot, Tina. I have heard so many stories about um, children alienation, parent alienation, grandparent alienation, where the person wants nothing to do with the parent. And here's what I'm going to suggest. Pull back your energy. Pull back your energy. I know as a mother, that's a tough one that I'm saying that. Give him space beyond, like beyond lots of space. You can send a lot of love, give him a lot of space and go to this site. And anybody who's having this parent alienation or family alienation or something where you are, uh, where the relationship that the children just, your children stop talking to you or anything like that, go to Dr. Joshua, Dr. Joshua Coleman. C-O-L-E-M-A-N, Dr. Joshua Coleman. His work is profound on um, helping families and helping people understand what's going on. And that's his specialty is what you're talking about. So please, because there is always a possibility that he will, um, you two will get back together. Always. I have to believe that. But here's my thought on that. A tremendous amount of space. Okay, I know that's not an easy thing that I'm saying, but still do it anyway. Okay, pull back. Just let him do his thing. Okay, and then you'll be amazed when you pull back enough and stay back. Don't go pull back and then run back in. Just let him come to you. Okay, he will. He will. I believe that he will. Okay, so Patty Campbell, what made the two of you decide to marry now? Good question, Patty. You know, Don woke up one morning and he said, I had a premonition. I said, you did? What? We were just drinking our coffee on a Saturday. Uh, and he said, our 19th anniversary is coming up and I think we should get married. And I said, great, let's do it. And that was about literally, we went, we looked at rings, we ordered flowers. We, <laughs> I'm not kidding you. It was that fast. And um, it was just Perfect. And I will say this about for me, and I can't say this for everybody, but I can say for me that earlier we, Don and I had tried many times to get married. First time my mother got ill, second time my mother died, then there was COVID and Don was always busy traveling with Neil Diamond. He was always on the road. So it, it and I was in grad school and I, there was just a bunch of stuff going on always. And we had grandchildren. I mean, next thing you know, you know, life just took off. But also, I feel for me that I needed to be really whole. I wanted to be really whole and healed. And one thing that you know, literally Don did for me is really, truly healed me. Like he's an extraordinary healer. I mean, just being with somebody who's loving and kind and loyal is extraordinary. It's healing right there. And I wish everybody had a Don in their life. I, I really do. He's uh, extraordinary. So, but thank you for asking. And I'm really happy that we did. Okay, Josie Jackson, I have dental surgery scheduled for June 20th. Is this okay? Yes, it is. I have a lot of intense issues going on. Yes, because it's a health, it's health, teeth. Now, um, it, I think it's important, actually, Josie. You'll be fine. You'll be fine, honey. I think it's a really good idea. Okay, and you're 214, yeah, February 14, which is Valentine's Day, which is another Jack of Diamonds. What is this with Jack of Diamonds? Jack of Diamonds has more life in them okay so i think it's important that you do that trey he's trey 79 says congrats on your marriage thank you on 621 will be your 10 year wedding anniversary and november 30th will be my 22nd year together with my husband how great is that i think that is super super great um i think that's the best i mean my god and 22nd is a really profound number we call that that's um the builder or the legacy you know, leaving that 22 is a really important number so i'm really happy for you trey i think that is great mary ski her birthday is uh, august 29th and your husband transcended passed away on september 29th and feel that he is with me in my home. Oh, I got chills. He's absolutely with you, Mary. He's absolutely with you. August 29th is not an easy placement. It's a 10 of hearts, but it's in that area of, of the 29th, 30th, 31st. Those are more, uh, I should say the 28th, 29th, 30, 31 is a little more challenged because it's with deep emotion that birthday. 
and and he left on Archangel Michael's birthday, September 29th. So he, your birthday is the 29th, and your husband passed on the 29th. Isn't that interesting? Which is an 11. So let's get you um, a card from him, okay? And he's definitely with you. Oh my gosh, Mary. Our loved ones, absolutely. Let me get, I'm gonna see if I can do a better shuffling job. <laughs> and if I, let's see what happens. Believe in yourself, you can do it. So your husband wants you to believe in yourself. He's definitely with you, honey. Okay, I don't think he means jump off a cliff, but he does mean believe in yourself. All right, okay. Um, this Camp Dons, we are planning a move soon. Can you see if there'll be any barriers or troubles that you'll be facing? So August 26th, and it's funny, that whole August, that last piece of August is very emotional. It's a big emotional, and you're a king of hearts and as a female, and a king of hearts female is somebody that is, the family is very important here, you know? Um, king of hearts also has the ability to knock down any barriers or any trouble. Anytime I say a king of anything, they're powerful. They bring in a lot of energy and a lot of willpower. So I think what anything that you will be facing, because you you will be um, moving soon. So moving during Saturn return might need some energy there, meaning that um, whatever barrier was there, it would be a karmic thing and you'd have to work your way through it. That's all. So don't look at anything as a negative. Look at it all as a positive. You know, that's great. You're planning to move. How great is that? Okay. So I think that's pretty perfect. Um, so Mindy Lipton, so, and your birthday is uh, February 4th and you have 35 year old, tw tw let's see, triplets. You had triplets. Wow. Lord. Um, I can't even fathom that. Honest to God. Um, do not want me in their lives. Okay. So your birthday is February 4th. So February 4th is an eight of spades. Eight of spades is very intense. So I'm, <laughs> they can, I've had many eight of, spades with me that were CEOs of huge corporations um, because they're so powerful. They have tremendous power. So Mindy, here's what I would say about the triplets. I would do, I would go see Dr. Joshua Coleman. I would go to his website and read all about it. And I don't know if the triplets have all ganged together against you. I really don't know. I, I have no idea of knowing that, but I would again, pull back my energy and triplets I don't even know what to say with that one, but um, uh, so I anyway, that's what I would do. I would go. I would read everything you can about it, okay? And again, Dr. Joshua Coleman, and I don't know him. I I just endorse his work. Uh, he's got a lot of books, and I'd be reading everything I could about it, okay? Um, Don Rosen, hi Kelly. I'm an Aquarius in Vedic astrology. Great. Uh, do the other planets change in Vedic too? Yes. Um, and you're in Eight of Diamonds. Yeah. The the um, planets. Uh, I mean, by birth dates will change. Yes, by birth dates, because they're usually typically a month behind, typically. Okay. Um, Janine Richards, 5'4". Is my husband okay where he is? And does he see what's going on here? So I'm assuming, Janine, that your husband passed away. Um, and yeah, they always know what's going on. Oh, my gosh. I'll, I've never had a reading where the husband or spouse has a, or hasn't come through, loved one on the other side. And said, you know, you you know, you just it's talking about tuna right now. Did you just make a tuna sandwich? I just made a tuna sandwich, and I was thinking about my husband while I was making that. So they'll tell me things. They're always with you. Our loved ones can always be with us. If you're thinking of them, they are there with you. Okay, they just are, honey. That's just how that works. You never have to worry about that ever. Okay, and there is no time where I am. Time is only on the earth. So there's no time on. On, from the other side, there is no time, but there is time here. So, wait, but just know his time is spent. A lot of his time is spent with you. Okay, so please know that because I think that's important for you to know. Um, okay, this is from Maria Carp Diem. She says, "Hi Kelly, I always look forward to your show. And next week on six twenty-two, I will turn the big five oh. She's going to be fifty. So, and you are an eight of clubs. So, Maria." 50 uh, during the Saturn return, which means you were probably born with the Saturn return because Saturn return often is like June, July, August, September. And it could be, a, it's usually four months period. Every year it comes back around the same time. So you were probably born with Saturn return. Um, James was, I was not, I thought I was, but I was not. James was. 
So Saturn return for you, turning 50, makes you look at your life like I'm 50. Like 50 is a delineation, you know. I remember where I was on my, my, on my 50th. Everybody goes, oh, did you have a big party? I'm like, no, I was in the hospital with my mother. <laughs> my mother had an emergency hip replacement and almost died. So I remember exactly where I was on my 50th. But it changed my life. And 50 is really important for changing your life. It was at because of that that I ended up going to grad school because I had to help my mom so much with her patients that I was like, well, I'm going to go to grad school. And that's what happened and how I became a therapist, actually. But so it was because of that. So 50 is an extraordinary, gives us a whole new lens to look at life. It's a great thing to do. And at every decade, we have every opportunity to use a different lens to view our life. And 50 is great. It's, it's great. It's perfect. Okay. I think you're going to have an extraordinary life here coming up. Um, so let's see. Um, here we go. Uh, Joanne Gibson. Hi, Joanne. Question. Kelly, I had a healing session today. And while I was being healed, I was taken on this incredible journey through, through what felt like an out-of-body experience. I bet it was. It was so fantastic in such detail. I ended up reading for my healer. <laughs> that has happened before. It was an awesome experience. What do you suppose was happening uh, Happening a new awakening? Yeah, you're definitely having some awakening. So you, so you, you had an out-of-body experience. So we, when we have spiritual awakenings, this is one way or this happens during a spiritual awakening where you could be having a healing session. Sometimes it's with Reiki. Sometimes it's with um, a healer that does whatever kind of healing be anything um and you have this amazing experience so you'll always remember that what it felt like to have that out-of-body experience because it and you remember all the details this is really important because what happens is when you leave the body like that or when you you know uh, have this kind of an this uh, journey out of the body you will receive lots of information so i can imagine that you were giving the healer herself or himself the information. So I, that that's how healing works. So bravo. That's a really cool experience. Really cool experience. Um, Judith Suki. She said, I'd like to know if my feet will ever be pain-free. I'm going on my 12th surgery next month. So and your birthday is December 26th. So December 26th is a five of hearts. Five of hearts comes to experience lots of emotion a tremendous amount of emotion i would actually be working two ways judith i'd be working with um a healer and i'd be working with a home homeopathic remedy somebody who does homeopathic remedies uh, dr robert gramlich does great homeopathic remedies in los angeles uh, and he sees people all over the world uh, g-r-a-m-l-i-c-h dr robert gramlich and I would learn everything about it, about homeopathic remedies, because I'm wondering what you're holding on to, because the feet are our way in the world. And I would be curious about that um, and uh, allowing yourself to be pain free. So there's there's a deep connection psychologically and spiritually to this. So um, but thanks you for asking that question. OK. Hi, Charlene. Hi, Charlene. I love you. Uh, I'm going to call you later tonight. Um, Mindy Lipton, my daughter is a law as a narcissist. Well, there's a lot of them out there, right? Um, so that's, and she's the one, uh, with the triplets. Is that, if I have that right, that's a tough one. Again, that's a Dr. Joshua Coleman situation that I'd read every single thing about it. Uh, I have seen that happen many, many, many a time where they turn families against one another. And it's horrific, actually, really just horrific. So I would be uh, looking at his work because I think that would be important. Robin Vale, should I go into hospice or death doula uh, if for your work? 927, 927 is designed to do group work. So whether you wanted to work in hospice or death doula, that is a very powerful, your birth placement is very powerful for doing that work. Whatever resonates the best with you. Death doulas are amazing. They help uh, families in need. There's different types of death doulas. And James and I have done a show on that. And you might want to Google the show we did on both sides now and beyond. I think it was a couple of years ago. But it's um, 
death doulas. You can help the family. You can help the soul pass over. You can help the soul of the person who's dying understand the other side. You can, there's just so much work that can be done. And hospice is great work too. So it, it's just deep work and your birth placement totally fits with this. Totally. Um, I think that would be perfect for you. Okay, Karen Sanders. Hi, Kelly. Can I please have a card? And you are 5'9". So 5'9". Uh, May 9th is a 10 of diamonds. 10 of diamonds, we call that the blessed card. Even though you would say to me, oh, no, my life sucked. My life was very hard. There's something about the 10 of diamonds that is extremely blessed, completely blessed. Okay, even though most of them would say, oh, no, 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 no. You, you got it wrong. No, there is some blessed component for it. But let me get you a card, Karen. Balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world, and I do so without judgment. So that's a really important card, to bring balance into your life. This is a perfect time to bring balance. Um, this is from Heidi. Hi, Heidi Artman. Hi, Kelly. What do you get for my husband's passing soon? I am 12-1, and he is 1-1. One, one. So he's a king of spades. King of Spades, oh Heidi, King of Spades is a is a powerhouse. I mean, beyond powerhouse. Now we've got Saturn return right now. Saturn return. People that have been hanging on may not be because the, the energy shifts during this return. I mean, you can feel the energy shifting, and so that is a possibility. I mean, I don't predict death, but. I would say 12 1, and your birthday's 12 1, four of diamonds. You know, four of diamonds often keeps people alive because they're so, their energy is so strong. Um, and his energy is so strong. But Heidi, you know, nothing would surprise me if during this period of time, because of the Saturn return. Okay, honey? I know that's a tough one. That's a really tough one. Anna Marie Taylor. Hi, Kelly. This is my first time seeing you. Well, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. I've lost my father and my granddaughter. Oh, my God. In the last 10 months. My birthday is 1022. Is there a message? First of all, honey, I'm so sorry. That is, that's just huge. It's a long loss. And you've taken, as James would say, the advanced class on earth. When we lose a child or a grandchild, that's the advanced class. And it's a big one. Um, and it's really hard to lose a parent. It's hard to lose anybody. The grandchildren, oh, my God. Okay, 1022. So 1022 is a king of hearts. Another king of hearts tonight. I'm on a roll. King of hearts is so, this family is more important than, than a partner. It doesn't even matter a partner. It's the family that matters. So let me get you a card here. And I'm sorry you've had that kind of loss. Let's get you. I know your dad and your granddaughter are together. Oh, wrong, wrong deck here. Hold on. Hold on. But they're definitely together. Okay. Gosh, honey. Let me, I'm going to try to really shuffle these up again. Hmm. This is what the message is. Don't be afraid. So I don't know if you have any fear, if you've had any fear. Um, over this loss, they're telling you not to be afraid. Okay, your daughter is your granddaughter is with your dad. They're together, um, along with other loved ones that are there too. Okay, Anna Marie, and it's a big it's a big one. Just pay attention to the energy around you because I know that they've been giving you a lot of messages and a lot of love and just a, a lot of love here. Okay. Um, so Laura D, she says, hi, Kelly, I'd love a mini reading if I should stick things out or move on. Well, here's the thing, Laura. You know, with this Saturn return, it's going to make everybody look, be honest with themselves. So you honestly can look at yourself and say, I don't want to do this anymore. I just can't. Or, yeah, I'm going to do it. I mean, you're the only one that can answer that. Okay, so just be really honest with yourself here, okay? Eric says, hi, Kelly, any message from spirit is I'm stuck and I'm depressed. And your birthday is 323. Well, I'm sorry you're stuck and depressed. 323 is a king of clubs. That's unusual for a king of clubs to be stuck and depressed. Well, depressed, sometimes they can be depressed. But um, stuck, usually, okay. So, Eric, here's what I'm going to say. I'm going to get you a message, but 
little card, but here's my message to you. Start doing some form of education. Education always with the king of clubs. They have to learn. They have to like ask yourself, what are you depressed about? I mean, if I had a session with you, then I would go, all right, I know what's going on. But right now I don't have a clue what all is going on. But I would say that this is a period of time to go inward and be honest with why are you stuck? Why are you depressed? Did somebody leave you? Did you have a loss? Did you, do you not like the way your life is turning out? Do you not like your children? Do you not like your spouse? Do you not like your friends? You know, like be honest. Do you not like your career? Be honest because this is a period of time to make a huge, huge difference in your life. Okay. And when we get stuck, we have to pay attention. And I'm glad you said you wrote in uh, because it, it will make you got to be accountable for your own feelings here. Okay. Sorry about that. But let's get your card, buddy. Death. I am merely learning that endings are merely beginning. So did you lose somebody? I'm wondering about that, Eric. Did you lose somebody? Okay. Because people will come and go out of our life. And this could be a metaphoric. It doesn't have to be that. Hi, Susie. I love the blue onion. Thanks. It's my favorite color. It's the color I wore. Not this shirt. Not this. But I wore this color for my wedding, which I just loved. Um, okay. So poetic jewels. She says, a weird question for you. I love animal totems. Me too. But a bird took a giant dump on the front window of our home. <laughs> we didn't plan to rent here for long, <laughs> but the pandemic lengthened it. Was this a sign or what? How huge was that dump? How big was that was that bird? <laughs> I don't know what to say, but that you made my night. That's very, very funny. Um, I don't know. Okay, Michelle Krantz, what can I can I tell you about somebody born on April 7th? Yes, I'm assuming that's somebody that you like or somebody that you want to get to know, April 7th, as an ace of spades. A, ace of spades takes a deep spiritual road, but here's the thing with an ace of spades. It's always between the the um, monot let me see, the the physical life and the spiritual life, the mundane life, we call it, and the spiritual life. Mundane meaning money, power, drugs, sex, those kind of things, like the mundane part, and then versus the spiritual path. And until that person can kind of come together with um, taking a, a truly spiritual road, they can skew off the path, okay, which everybody can. I mean, it's just, you know. Okay, Lori Gavel. My mother and father passed within a year of each other. They just wanted to know how they were doing. Dad passed on eleven fifteen. Well, they're doing fine together, Lori. They're doing fine together. It's amazing. So, loved ones, that happens. That will happen. I've had stories where you know the husband died and the, the wife stayed, never married, and stayed you know uh, single for forty years. I've seen that happen. Um, I've also seen where. My own grandparents passed away one month um, after each other. My grandmother died. And a month later, my grandfather died, literally. Uh, and she kept coming to me and saying, make sure you're taking care of him. And I'm like, I'm doing the best, Grandma. Uh, you know, it was, uh, that was something. That was, I was 20 years old, and I was like getting all these crazy messages from her. But let me get you a card. Okay, I'm going to say they are just a thought away. They're just a thought away here. Okay, Lori? Just know they're around you. I think they're really happy to be together. Actually, I do. So let me get another. Uh, oh, here's a question. This is from Angela Watson. And her birthday is June 6th. And June 6th is a, oh my gosh, Jack of Diamonds. Oh, that's hysterical. What a day is this for Jack of Diamonds. She, her, here's her question. And this Angela, this is a question. She says, will I ever be forgiven for the kind of mother that I was or the kind of mother that I wasn't? So Angela, all forgiveness has to come from within, okay? Do the best you can now with who you are as a soul and um, love yourself, forgive yourself for whatever went on in the relationship because children choose mother and father. I don't know what kind of mother you were or what kind of mother you weren't, but I do know that you can start right now. There's a thing, with, you know, I was watching, if anybody has seen it, it's a tough show to watch, but it's called Barry. Has anybody seen Barry on HBO? Uh, for me, it was a hard to watch, but it was really, to me, about redemption. And at any moment, you can have a, a thought of, I'm going to change my life right now. I'm going to make a different choice. And that 
it kind of reminds me of what you're asking. So get seek get have compassion for whatever you went through because maybe your traumas led you to this road that you were on. But all I know is you can stop it and and start loving yourself and have compassion for what you went through. Okay, we all have to have that moment. It's it's imperative actually. Okay, it's just imperative. Okay, Bonnie Bond, I want to know how my daughter in spirit is doing. Well, let's get a call from her. Okay, Bonnie Bond, I love your name. That is a great name. Okay, here we go. <laughs> she says, I'm not dead, Mom. I am not dead. And she's very active, apparently. <laughs> okay, they don't like to think of themselves. They don't call themselves dead. They're like very much alive over there. Very much alive. Okay, always know that. Um Vivian Lassard, hi Kelly, I always enjoy your hour. Thank you. Would you love a card? Mar so you are March 23rd, and March 23rd is another King of Clubs. Boy, I'm just getting hitting all this. So you're a female with a male brain, and King of Clubs has they have to have information. They come in for information. They come in and inhale information. And King of Clubs can they're great writers, they're great, God, they're, they can do anything. Anything with communications they can do. They can run uh, companies, corporations, anything. So, but let's get you a card here also, okay, from the soul's journey here. Let's get you a card. Here we go, Vivian. Friendship. I understand that a friend is is in my life for a reason. There you go. Friendship is an important one. Here we go. Um, Mary Snyder, my boyfriend is March 11th, and I am Feb 1. So, March 11th is a um, queen of diamonds. So I'm going to talk about that for a minute. And February 1 is a jack of spades. Boy, all of these high-powered cards. That's really interesting. So your boyfriend is March 11th. He has a queen of diamonds. It's the second hardest card in the deck, actually. Um, and he would, be the, his, he would think like a female. And it's to really work on self-esteem, okay? Self-esteem is really important with that one, really important. And creativity, I bet you he's wildly creative. So I think, and, so, and he has a really important life in this lifetime, very important. And your February 1, February 1 is also extremely important. I think the two of you together, wow, that's a power couple, um, a huge. February 1 is a jack of spades. Jack of spades uh, means to sacrifice uh, and for spirituality. It, you come, you could be I mean, the highest of spiritual people in this lifetime. I mean, huge spirit, spirit there. Okay. So always take a spiritual road because the jack of spades also very quickly can go down a rabbit hole. You can't do that. You know, you can't let anybody spiral you down either. You've got to hold that space of being that person that's highly spiritual that's what that birth placement is it's very specific birth placement thank you rita vores oh thank you sweetheart I'm looking forward to seeing you uh, in alaska i'm so excited um charlene miller so happy for you and don thank you charlene i sincerely with both of you so much happiness and love thank you i literally lost track of time picking up my pretty rocks. I was late today. I must listen to what I missed here tonight because I missed your awesome announcement. You know that all of us here feel the love that you share. Oh, thank you. You have a special way to make everyone feel comfortable. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you so much. I'm so sure that you and Don have a very special connection. We do. And you're January 15th. A message from my sister Bob would share for all of us. Okay, so let's do that. A message for you. It's a message my sister Barb would share from all of us. Okay, so and you are January 15th. So thank you for your nice message. I really appreciate that. January 15th, Queen of Diamonds. So Queen of Diamonds, but not necessarily an easy one. So let's let's get a message here. Here we go. Hmm. I am sorry, please forgive me. So I don't know if that's maybe it's forgiveness for everybody. You know, whatever if anybody is on the other side that you need forgiveness from. Just know that they're offering this because Father's Day is coming up on Sunday. And um, as a lot of you know, and I've talked about this, I had a really challenging dad, like really challenging. For Father's Day, when we were little, he would say, I just want to be left alone. And um, so that's what, you know, it was like a, it was a constant. So when I think of Father's Day, I go, um, <laughs> I do. It's a terrible thing. But because of that, 
Um, my assistant, Carissa, that some of you may know or not know, but she's an incredible writer and she's wonderful. And she had this amazing dad and he was a good friend of ours. Um, and he was just the most, ah, I never met anybody like him. Really amazing. And she loved her dad. So she's actually going to write a post. I asked her to for Father's Day because I want to show what a loving father is. I want to show that because I do know that they're out there. Um, and my dad was loving. He's just a loon. Um, but <laughs> really a challenge. So I was like, mm, maybe I should not be writing something. I think you should, Carissa, because you had a good experience. <laughs> So she's going to be writing something on for Father's Day. But and my thought is, if you have any, um, if you're holding any ill will for a parent, a mother or a father, particularly a father, because we have Father's Day coming up, you know, just just know that there's forgiveness. You know, it just is. And as James would say, the energy to do it on Earth, if you can do it on Earth before you pass, is is really a great thing. It just is. And on Monday, James and I are going to be doing a show on near-death experiences. So anybody who's had a near-death experience, we've done a show before on that. But we're going to get a little deeper into the topic. So uh, please share your experiences with us for near-death experiences on Monday night. It's going to be terrific. And then again, save your questions. I really appreciate all your questions. And if you, I just opened my July calendar up, um, I think today. I think so I, i'll be open in july so please um sign up if you need if you'd like to have a session with me and I look forward to seeing you all on monday night so have a wonderful week everybody take care and i'll see you next week also thank you for joining us on ask me anything we hope our discussions with kelly white and james van prague have enriched your spiritual understanding and personal growth from recognizing spiritual elements in children to understanding the subtle energies of crystals each episode is a treasure trove of wisdom. Missed a live session on Facebook or YouTube? Don't worry. You can always find the latest episodes on your favorite podcast app. Remember, your queries form the heart of our show. So keep those questions coming for the next episode. Before we close, make sure you've subscribed to join us on this enlightening journey. Until next time, continue to question, explore, and grow. The universe is full of answers awaiting your curiosity. Mm -hmm.